Welcome back to BH Solar 100, and this is a video of our greenhouse. Um, we just built it this last summer, and we didn't get to plant in it yet. So, it's 72 lawn by 30 wide. So, and it's got 8 foot doors, 4 foot each door. And we just got it tilled up. We got a little table in here, a bench, another bench, a tiller, and we have one long path that goes all the way down. And we tilled it, as you can see, we tilled it with that tiller. We had to make sand in with it and manure. And it just was like a rock hard clay. And so we're hoping that we can get it in. And see, there's lots of sand that we're just starting to till in and rake in. This is an experiment and still gets down to like 15 at night. And so it just gets really warm in the day. It gets up to sometimes a hundred with sun, but with at night it gets down to as, as cold as it is outside because it's just a high tunnel. We call it the greenhouse, but it's really just a high tunnel. It's called the Gothic style. It's got a point at the top, goes down, and then it goes straight down from there. It's got boards. Those aren't actual boards, they're like a plastic deck board that you put with that people use decks and rails. Um it still gets to fifteen below at night. Well not below, fifteen at night. So it's really cold here. And we have lettuce and I don't know if you can see this, but right there is some lettuce. That's lettuce right there. And we've got some more all over the place. It's just tons of different lettuce. And we did plant beans, if you can see that. That's a bean. And they aren't coming up yet. We have some roots on some of them, but since beans don't do good in cold, we don't think they're going to sprout. Um, we're hoping they do, though. So, we built this all by ourselves. All by ourselves, so it just, it's a big job we had to build that end frame. If you can see, there's some um, metal, like, pipes almost. I guess you could call them pipes. Um... And you need to put these screws in. You see that? Links together and then you screw it together. We need to drill through this metal. It's a hard thick metal. And they were really they were screws that you had to really put all your weight on. And there's this bar that runs all the way across all the way down both ends these that wrap around and then the board like I said it's like a plastic board just so that it holds up and then these are four feet apart from this one to this one and they're cemented in the ground about three feet down so all of them are cemented three feet down and I think there's 36 all together, both sides. So, we have quite a few cement holes. I don't think it's going anywhere. Then we cemented these end frames into the ground. These doors are really nice. We could have gotten the zipper end doors that you have to zip open, but we 
didn't want those kind. We still gotta um, fill them with some like window filler with like foam insulation. Um, cause still lets cold air through. Otherwise, this is um this plastic right here is an end frame plastic. I think it's 5.2 ounce fabric, and then this is a film up here, and that I forget how. It's just like a film. It's the lowest you can really get, I think. And as you can see, it's very humid in here. And it's, it's 72 feet long, so it really does make a difference to have a long greenhouse. And then this is one of the longest greenhouses we could have gotten. It's 30 feet wide and 72 feet long. Um, we got help through the NRCS. It was originally like a over ten thousand ten thousand dollar greenhouse, I think it was. It was a big job. It was lots of money. And we got help through the NRCS. We ended up paying only like three thousand just because we wanted to get the special end frames. Um if you haven't heard of the NRCS, I think you can go online. But this is where we got a greenhouse. I guess there's some um, things that you have to have like a business or you have to ha make a thousand dollars off your land or something like that to be able to be able to get one. And they um, they give three away at least in South Dakota and we didn't get one to start with and we really didn't think we we're going to they said that we didn't get it and they gave three away and told them they said that if we did tours on our farm that that we could probably get more points this goes by points and we said we do it all the time and we didn't know to put that down and she said um apply next year and you'll probably get one they called back a week later and said that they granted us a greenhouse they found extra funding so it really was a blessing from god so keep you updated on this greenhouse if you look if you want to look into the NRCS um i think they have a website but I hope that you have a nice day. Hope this video was good and educational.